Okay, and so now for the next camera or range of cameras that I recommend. Now this might sound like it's a bit of cheating, but what I wanna to talk to you about and recommend is smartphones. Now smartphones are something that most people these days have. Now, you know, uh, very few people I know have phones that are just phones. It's really about having the phone that, you know, you can connect with the internet and so on and so on. Uh, as to what phone you prefer, Again, totally up to you. I'm not going to get into a you know a, a Mac or an Apple versus um, you know all the other brands as well. Uh, let me tell you straight up. This my preference is an iPhone. I have iPhone. I'm still with the iPhone 4s, but the 5 again has added features and a few extra little things. But again, depending on what you want to do. Otherwise, you know you can have something like a, a Samsung Note. Uh, yep, yeah, beautiful, big screen, fantastic. Um, personally, from what I've tested, the Samsung will actually give you a better quality picture than a iPhone. So, uh, in terms of that, so why would I not choose and go with, uh, say, the Samsung? Why am I with an iPhone? Purely because of the, the apps or applications that you can get to go with an iPhone and also for the accessories that go with it. Now, again, Pretty much most, well, I think all smartphones, you're able to connect an external microphone to. Uh, you know, they shoot in high definition. Um, again, the limitation is that they don't have, they have digital zoom and not optical zoom. So the digital zoom, uh, as I've mentioned before, is where it actually just takes you know, a part of the, the image that it's seeing, you know, the, the screen that it's seeing and enlarges that. Now to a certain point, it's at high definition, it's really not gonna make much difference. But once you, if you wanna do longer range stuff, then it's what it's doing is just taking a small portion and then just enlarging the pixels and making it you know, look good, uh, like you've zoomed in, but in actual fact, it's just taken a small amount of image and just enlarged it. Whereas optical zoom is you know, where you actually have lenses that move, you know, glass lenses that move, and so it actually takes you closer to the subject, whatever you're videoing. So that's a limitation as such. But again, you know, for most situations, fantastic. Now, as I said, so that's that's the Samsung. Uh, as I said, for me, yeah, it's a better picture quality than you'll get uh, with the iPhone, slightly better. You've also got to remember that uh, with picture quality, by the time it's, I'll call it dumbed down to, to go onto web, then, you know, from what you get at the high end, it's not going to make a great deal of difference. If you get lousy picture, you know, to start with, then at the, high, the, the, at the other end, when you're putting it up on the web, it's going to look really lousy. Okay, now, as I said, the thing I love about the, the iPhone is the amount of uh, apps or applications that are available for it, and, and there's heaps of them, that will turn this effectively into a full-scale movie camera. So it's as good as a movie camera with the apps that let you control uh, image and stabilization. Um, yeah, you can put on the screen, and I'll, I'll, uh, we'll have a look at one in a moment. But that's what I, I love about this is, is all the apps. Now, uh, I'm just gonna jump into it here. You can see here there's um, VisiWig Filmic Pro. Uh, what else have I got here? Uh, there's a light meter. So again, there's, there's a whole range of, of, of little apps here. Now, if I open Filmic Pro, so Filmic Pro is opening up now. And what it gives you here is it gives you audio. Now, I'll so what it does is it gives you an audio meter on the bottom. It actually lets you pick, you know, if you're going to shoot the face. So it's actually, it lets you pick where you want to focus on. Uh, you can change the light meter. Uh, it's, as I said, it's got an audio gauge on there. It's a simple to use, easy red record, red stop button for recording. Uh, again, really fantastic. It, there's, there's too much to go into, and it's and, you know, and this program's not about uh, how to use you know this specific app and whatever. In fact, uh, I'm cheating here, but let me say this: I think these are so fantastic. Uh, together with the iPad, 
and the iPad mini, that I'm actually making a separate program just on using the iPad mini, the iPad and the iPhone as a complete studio production so that's ipad video creation uh, it'll be coming out where i'll talk about all the apps and all the accessories but just to whet your appetite let me just show you for example you know so he you know i've got my iphone here now what i have here is a thing called the ar41 so you can see the ar41 here now what it is it's a yeah well it's a camera holder it's a phone holder that as you can see has twin microphones on the top here and around the back here is where your iPhone just slides in. So what you do is you slide it in and it locks in. Now it has um, a, a plug here to, to take your earphones so you can actually monitor the sound and a volume level for that. Uh, it runs, it, you, uh, it takes two AAA batteries to actually power this little beastie and to power the microphones so it doesn't take it out of your camera. So what it does is, uh, if we go to camera, as you can see there, what it's doing is you can get there and monitor, oh, and it has the handle on the bottom. Now, uh, it's so configured that if you want to, you can put it this way as well. The handle will fit on the bottom and the microphones actually sit underneath here. So there's either way to configure. But you can see with this is, you know, you can move it around. Uh, you can obviously put it on a fixed tripod. But what you've got there is a, a fantastic tool for, for recording. And obviously the microphones are facing forward and that's the way they would be if you're recording. And so you've got your software here, you just press record and away you go with your sound being captured and you're able to view the screen at the back. So. There are so many you know, things that you can get, so many accessories is what I'm trying to say for the iPhone, the iPad and the iPad mini because there's just so many of them being produced and sold around the world. So it's the reason I prefer the i, you know, the, the, the Apple equipment is purely because of all the extras that you can get for it that turns it into a, not only a fully functioning video camera but it's that, that allows you to control different things like focus and light and and that but also the special effects that you can put in and and then there's all the accessories now i've got two two boxes like this full <laughs> of accessories uh, that go with the ipad the ipad mini and the iphone and in ipad video creation uh, dot com is uh, that's where i'm going to be putting all this and featuring it as a standalone for those people who think that they'd like to go that way. So just to recap, what I want to say is, you know, is no matter what smartphone you have, you know, whether it's the, you know, the, the Apple device or whether it's one of the other devices, by the way, uh, the, the Android, the other devices are far outselling the iPhones at the moment. So go figure. But look, if you want a recommendation for me, if you're if you're intending to use a phone, a smartphone to make video, because of the reasons I've just said about the apps and the accessories, I'd be going with the iPhone as opposed to the um, Android phone, whether it's Samsung, HTC, whatever all the others are, you get it there. All right, so, uh, so that's it on smartphones. But again, you know, it's a great consideration. A lot of people get there and think, um, oh, you know, I don't have a video camera. You do. And uh, someone has said, and you know, probably heard it before, but the best video camera you can have is the one that you have on you. And most people apparently, uh, their, their smartphones are never further away from them than, uh, what's it? It's either one, one or to three meters away from them at, at any time. And uh, I have to embarrassingly say that's, that's true for me. So, you know, you've always got your video camera with you. So if, you know, if you've got the apps there and you can capture things. Now, obviously the limitations for a smartphone would be, you know, if you are doing you know, a large auditorium, uh, something like that, uh, or something in the distance. So if you, you know, want to capture a sporting event or, you know, a car race or, you know, equestrian, now it depends on, you know, what your business is about, then, uh, you know, it'll have the limitations of, of the Zoom. 
So, uh, you know, just be aware of that, but it's probably fairly, you know, uh, logical, you know, that that sort of restriction would be there. But for most of us, if we're setting up in a studio or whatever, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that's it uh, for this one. Smartphone, uh, yeah, certainly consider it. Uh, pluses are, you always got it with you. Shoot in high definition. You can use an external microphone and plug them in. Um, and we'll look at that with microphone. And we look in the microphone section. I'll show you uh, about microphones. Uh, again, you can get some accessories and use them with tripods and so on. So there's all sorts of accessories and apps that let you turn it into a fully functioning video uh, camera. The, and as I mentioned, yeah, the downside is that it doesn't have digi uh, optical zoom, so you can't zoom in, you know, for long distance. Um, but if that's not a problem for you then a smartphone is perfect and particularly as most people have them you can get started already you don't need to go and buy yourself a standalone video camera all right so that's it for smartphones i'll see you in the next video